Hi there everyone, um, hope you're all well. I've got some more kit for you which I'm going to look at. I'm going to bring the camera around and look at that in more detail. This is just me explaining. I've got some kit from Eagle Vision Cam to bring you in as much detail as I can and make it as user friendly as possible for you to get your head around. You've seen me already review the excellent Eagle Vision Cam multi-scope adapter for the PAD 007 and this is Bruce and I, this is our favourite adapter, especially when you've got to take the 007 on and off various different scopes. No tape, no shims, nothing sticky left on the eye bell of the scope. So you've seen that, and it comes in a nice pouch, and, and there's various bits and bobs. So, great kit. The subject of the first part of this video is we have a different kind of scope cam. If you don't want to, maybe perhaps you don't need uh, night... HD and night vision capability, or perhaps you have a GoPro you'd like to use. Perhaps you prefer to stick with your day scopes and get the maximum clarity, because this can, can reduce your clarity sometimes, but get the maximum clarity and yet do your recording. Well, for that to that end, uh, Masood, clever bloke at Eagle Vision Cam, brings you a 2575 GoPro adapter that fits just about any day scope because it uses the same multi-scope adapter. So we have another great Eagle Vision Cam durable carry pouch with a durable zip, lanyard, lots of compartments inside. Before I get to that, I've basically invested in a GoPro, which I've never, I've never used a GoPro be camera before. I've used the poor man's equivalents, the cheap versions, but clever bit of kit. And this is a GoPro 7. Speaking to Masood, and he said, well, the latest GoPro is the 8 or the 9. The GoPro 7 is the most advanced one in the range that you can change the lenses on. That brings me to an excellent piece of kit which is Eagle Vision Cam 12mm lenses. You've got to replace the lens in the GoPro before you can use the GoPro in the scope cam and get downrange footage because the, the native GoPro lens is too wide angle. Masood's asked me to do separate videos, so I'll do a short one uh, on changing the lens on the GoPro and then there'll be a longer video introducing you to the 2575 adapter with all its all the nuts and bolts and then I'll be doing some range footage with Davy and Bruce getting my rim fires re-zeroed because they've had barrels swapped they've had scopes swapped and these are my only rifles with day scopes at the moment and I want to help a friend uh, with uh, his permissions with uh, getting started on the bunnies hope to see you soon Chris I've not forgotten don't worry my body's been slowing me down a bit so before I get onto the 2575 adapter Let's show you the nitty gritty with the GoPro. Let me, let me bring the camera around. So we have a GoPro Hero 7, and I'm pretty new to GoPros, so I've still got to go through the YouTube videos and uh, learn how to uh, process the footage and such like. But this is a pretty standard mount, sticky backed tripod thread, adjustable for tilt. You've got the Power button on the left side, there's a front display, on off, touch screen rear display. With the GoPro still sealed up, a little bit stiff, open this up, open the back and out pops the GoPro and we no longer really need this carriage. So there's your fab compact GoPro. And you've got various compartments. You've got microphone, heat sink, on off button. You've got your screen itself, touch screen. And you've got one compartment on the, the left side, which is your HDMI out cable, USB access and charging. And you've got a compartment on the underside oops just switched on which has your battery with a little flap to help you remove it and your memory card slot
So you can see a tiny lag as you're moving it and it's pretty wide angle. That's showing from the fireplace over here to the window on the right. So that's, it's something like 90 degree angle on here, which is no good for your scope cam. Okay, so regarding changing the lens, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try this. All right, introducing the Eagle Vision cam, another little sturdy pouch, no lanyard loop this time, but very durable. And you could probably chuck this off the top of a skyscraper and the lens inside would be fine. Um, so we have a Ziploc bag inside, no other accessories required. And we have, it's got a protective cap, www.eaglevisioncam.com, 12 millimeter, half inch GPL 15 lens. So basically 12 millimeter length. And I'm obviously not gonna to touch the, the, the lens. So I'm gonna put the, the protective rubber cap back on and I'll like, try and avoid touching the inner surface as well. Um, and you can probably see there's a very fine thread uh, on here for attaching. So, reason gone for the GoPro 7 is, as I mentioned, Masood tipped me off. It's the most advanced GoPro that lets you change lenses. The trick, I did a little bit of checking, and the trick basically is squeeze the lens, pull it outwards, and twist. And there we go, it comes off. The outer protective cap comes off. Put that to one side. Um, now, inside, you've got a lens, the existing lens, and it's, you can see it's much bigger than the 12 millimeter Eagle Vision cam lens. Take the cap off. So, much bigger lens by comparison. So now we have to remove this lens without damaging it. Now, I did wonder if this would work. So, I'm gonna try a single layer. This is a TheraBand. This is a green TheraBand. It's a physio tool for resistance exercises. So I'm going to try pressing on this and rotating it. And nope, it doesn't, doesn't feel like, it feels like it's locked up pretty tight. The reason I was trying this is, I don't know if you've seen, but an elastic band around, wrapped around a jam jar lid helps you get purchased to get the lid off. Similarly around the lid of a pellet tin. So I just thought I would try on the off chance pressing see if no I can't feel any road oh ah actually yes it's, no, it's it's rotating I just managed to press hard enough what I was going to do following watching a YouTube video was use either a pair of scissors or a pair of needle nose pliers gently grip the outside try not to damage it and twist to get it rotating but I've just managed to do it with the TheraBand, which is the third try, just as I was about to give up. So, so now you can see, you can see that the lens starting to come proud as it unscrews. And once it's come round, it's better with a single thickness of the TheraBand, but once it gets looser, a very fine thread. And obviously, I don't have a protective cap for the lens. The existing GoPro lens will go in the Ziploc bag. And I've yet to learn, as I'm doing this live on camera for you, I've yet to learn exactly how focus fussy this is once I've got the, the new lens. But I'm very glad that my little uh, latex TheraBand worked. There's quite a few revolutions to unscrew this fella. It's getting loose now. And it's about to fall into my hand. There we go. Looking on the side of this, there's no identifying code. Doesn't tell you what size lens it is. So, got some kitchen roll. Clean the inner surface of the lens. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna clean the outer surface here with kitchen roll, dry kitchen roll. No no uh, cleaning fluids. And then I'm going to pop the protective cap back on just to get extra purchase while I'm screwing this fella in. And I've been very careful. You can see the, you can see the, the, the camera chip 
maybe. There we go, inside the GoPro. So I've been trying to be as careful as possible not to get any dust in here. And just offering this up. And it's got a long way to go, but I am going to have to take the rubber protective cap off, I guess, at some point. So it's going to get more difficult to rotate it with my fingers as I go. But I can see the lettering, the Eagle Vision cam lettering. So I know it's, I know it's rotating. Ah, right, it's come to a stop. So for now, I'm not 100% sure if I need the protective lens on, or if I can use the protective lens in the uh, 2575 Eagle Vision cam housing. But for now, I'm going to replace the protective outer cap and because uh, this is part of the whole waterproofing so i've put it on at about 45 degrees i'm pressing yep, and there we go click that's back on so this is all live i hope this has worked switch the gopro back on right straight away it's all blurry and i'm sure you can see here that the field of view is very very much narrower it's something like it's like equivalent to my, where my fingers are here so that should be um in fact here we go it's a king size bed and this camera is now only covering the field of view is now only covering some nearly just about 60% of the width of the headboard. So a much narrower uh, field of view with the 12 millimeter lens. Excellent. So there you are. The original GoPro lens safely tucked away. The Eagle Vision Cam GoPro lens popped in and you've seen that it's a narrower field of view. All right. So, original GoPro lens and the Eagle Vision Cam 12mm lens lens cap safely tucked away. That can go in the pouch from the remaining goodies. That's the end of that short video, just changing the lens and showing the difference. Of course, I may naturally at some point have to back the new lens off a tiny amount if it's difficult to focus but latex sheet top tip to save you having to use pliers or scissors to get a grip of the uh, gopro lens